hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my youtube channel in today's video i wanted to show you how i painted this cacti so i am going to do a variation of it and we are going to go through the process of painting different kinds of cacti so i painted this type i painted this type i painted this other type i painted this and then a few leaves a few stones as fillers we are not going to do the exact same composition, but I am going to show you how I painted all these individual cacti. So let's go over the materials and then I'll show you how I painted these. So the materials for today, we are going to use the Arches hot press paper. So this paper doesn't have any texture and I chose to use this paper because I might use it for digital work and I might print it on t-shirts, I might print it on something else, and the textureless paper is great for this. So now, in terms of paints, as always, I am going, these are like my favorite colors and the ones that I use always, always. So cadmium yellow, cadmium red orange, indigo, and purple, and with the mixture of the yellow and the indigo, I make the green. And this is for the little flowers, the stones, the details. You can basically mix any color with these three or four colors. So that's why I love these so much. Now then just a piece of paper towel from the kitchen in case I need to wipe anything. Then I am also going to use two brushes. This is a soft brush by Winsor & Newton. Um, number six but you can use any soft brush that you have then for the details I am also going to use a Winsor Newton number zero and it is a very fine point kind of detail kind of brush and I will also use this pen touch white for some details to like to make some details really pop out so I will use this as well and of course I have my water right here so please remember that all the links to the materials are in the description below. You can find them on Amazon. And if you can't find anything, let me know in the comments. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date in all the content that I upload mostly every week. And you can also follow me on Instagram at love letters to Milo, like right here, kind of. As always, I like to get my paint ready and wet before I start any kind of painting. So that is all I'm doing right here, just getting my paint ready. Okay, so I think we're going to start with one of the simpler kinds of shapes, which is this shape. Then we're going to move on to this one and then we might move on to this one and then we can work on something like this and then some filler kind of leaves so let's get started i am going to mix a little bit of yellow and a little bit of indigo and i already have some kind of a green right here and i'm gonna go ahead and Go ahead and start the basic shapes. Maybe add a little bit more indigo. Kind of like that. Kind of have these kind of little arms. I like that. I think that is going to be good enough. Now what we can do is move to the second shape and then we come back to this for some details.
might have been too much indigo but that's okay i like how it bleeds anyway Okay, I'm just going to leave that one like that, then we can move on to our next shape. I'm just going to add a little bit more yellow to my indigo. This came out a little bit too dark, but that's okay. Now I just added a little bit of indigo to my brush just to give it a little bit more contrast just here and there just very kind of randomly thinking about it kind of very randomly maybe a little bit here to give it a little bit like just a little bleed right here it's just it's very loose very kind of abstract anyway then uh, We can continue maybe with a little bit more indigo and we can do maybe some of the longer leaves. So now we can move into the details for the first one now that we know that it's fairly dry. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that the lines don't have to be perfect. This is in nature and nature it has its little wonderful imperfections. So that is kind of what we are aiming for. We're not trying to make it perfect. It's okay if you're a little shaky or you don't have the correct kind of brush, like it's very kind of loose. Now you can see that the cacti is sort of like coming together and it really looks like a cacti. So we're gonna add a few more details to this as a third step, but I'm gonna move on to the details of this, this, and this. And I'm gonna speed it up because it is very time consuming and I don't want you guys to look at just me doing little dots.
all right so we'll move back to the first one and we're gonna add a little flower kind of details i am going to load up my brush my Winsor newton number zero i'm gonna load it with orange and we're just gonna add a few little kind of abstract little flowers at the top maybe a little bit here and then we're just going to go ahead and add little flowers kind of in all the cacti here and there for like a cute little detail maybe even here here we'll make a little bit of a bigger one maybe we'll add now a little bit of a purple one to add a little bit of variation and it looks really cute so now it's time to add the final details and that will be with this pen touch white and i am going to just grab the, the very tip of it and i am going to add little dots just to give it a little bit of contrast Now the last thing we have to do uh, is finish up this little one and I am using my detail brush again and what I'm going to do is just Okay, so now that we have most of our cacti ready, I still need to add white to this one, but I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to add a few filler leaves, just so you guys see what I mean by filler leaves. So we can go ahead and grab a little bit of our green, and we can go ahead and add maybe something like, like this. The last thing we can do is add maybe some stones because you know there are stones in the desert so we can add a little bit of stones to give them a little bit of a ground to stand on. And to finish up this cacti, all we're doing is adding little dots of white to give it some contrast.
okay you guys so i believe we finished our cacti tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you learned anything from this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also don't forget to follow me on instagram right here on love letters to milo if you want to stay up to date in all the content that i upload mostly every day so i'll see you guys next time bye